Against Our Will, Men, Women, and Rape by Susan Braumuller is a seminal work that fundamentally transformed the discourse surrounding sexual violence, offering a comprehensive exploration of rape's historical, sociocultural, and psychological dimensions. Published in 1975, the book is a pioneering analysis that critiques traditional notions of rape and underscores the deeply rooted power dynamics that perpetuate sexual violence. Brownmuller presents a historical overview of rape, contextualizing it as a weapon of war and a means of subjugating women. She traces rape's history from ancient societies through to modern times, highlighting its connection to domination and control. This historical lens serves to counter prevailing beliefs that rape is primarily a result of uncontrollable sexual desire. Instead, the author contends that rape is intrinsically linked to power and the assertion of dominance. The book further delves into societal attitudes and myths that contribute to a culture of sexual violence. Brownmuller dissects the idea that women provoke rape through their clothing or behavior, debunking the notion that rape is a crime of passion rather than one of power. This deconstruction of victim-blaming narratives challenges the prevailing norms and perceptions that often diminish the accountability of perpetrators. Brownmuller's analysis illuminates the societal tendency to downplay or dismiss sexual assault, creating an environment where victims are frequently disbelieved or shamed. The concept of rape as an act of terrorism against women emerges as a central theme in the book. Brownmuller portrays rape as a tool of social control, creating an atmosphere of fear that restricts women's autonomy. She argues that the pervasive threat of sexual violence inhibits women's movements and decisions, influencing their daily lives in ways that maintain male dominance. By reframing rape as a tactic used to suppress women's agency, Brownmuller emphasizes the broader implications of sexual violence beyond the immediate physical and psychological harm. The author also critiques legal and institutional responses to rape. She highlights how legal definitions of rape historically revolved around notions of chastity and consent, often disregarding the trauma experienced by survivors. Brownmuller's analysis underscores the importance of redefining rape within legal frameworks to better reflect the power dynamics inherent in such cases. She advocates for a shift away from viewing rape as an isolated incident and towards recognizing it as a manifestation of systemic gender inequality. Throughout the book, Brownmuller integrates personal testimonies and case studies, lending a human dimension to her analysis. By sharing survivors' experiences, she humanizes the statistics and abstract concepts, making the book more relatable and emotionally resonant. These narratives reinforce her overarching argument that rape is not solely a private matter but a societal concern that demands collective action. Against Our Will concludes with a call to action for societal transformation. Brownmuller asserts that dismantling rape culture requires challenging deeply ingrained beliefs and attitudes. She emphasizes the need for comprehensive sex education, reforming legal definitions of rape, and shifting the responsibility for preventing sexual violence from victims to potential perpetrators. By advocating for a shift in collective consciousness and encouraging dialogue, Brownmuller envisions a society that no longer tolerates the pervasive prevalence of sexual violence. In summary, Against Our Will, Men, Women, and Rape by Susan Brownmuller is a groundbreaking work that deconstructs prevailing myths and attitudes surrounding sexual violence. Through historical analysis, critique of societal norms, and personal narratives, Brownmuller exposes rape as an instrument of power rather than a result of desire. Her call to action emphasizes the urgency of changing societal attitudes and legal frameworks to effectively combat rape culture and empower survivors. 
The book remains a vital resource in understanding the complex dynamics of sexual violence and advocating for lasting change.